Welcome back to another episode of I've Never Liked You with Mateo Lane and Nick Smith. And today, in 15 minutes, we are discussing air fryers. Okay, Nick, so you don't know how to cook. And don't you don't like cook. flavor, which you've proven in every single video that we've done. Now that everyone's furious at you about the Mexican candy I'm video. I'm furious at myself. But, um, so, you bought an air fryer. I would like to know why you bought an air fryer. So, I don't know how to cook. I don't like to cook. I don't want to cook. What can you cook? Um, noodles and butter. Okay. Cereal. Okay. So, I, <laughs> uh, what cereal can you cook? What? I mean, any cereal, really. <laughs> if the, you were having a dinner party and you were endless. like, like you know, like Mrs. Doubtfire, like you have to prepare a dinner, what would you cook people? I can follow a recipe, but I hate grocery shopping. I think it's stressful. I hate cooking. I think it's stressful. But, but what's I, stre- I follow- like grocery shopping. You walk around, you can kind of pick and choose, it's or maybe I'll cook something hot. with that. Why? What about it? I don't know. I you don't went know. to Forever 21 into the women's section and bought trampy outfits with zero stress in New York City, but going to a grocery store stresses you out. Yeah, but that's fun. A grocery store? What's fun about that? Food? Nothing. Yeah. Food. Well, you don't eat any food. Right. So I know I should cook more, and I'm always looking, what's something I can do easily? Mm -hmm. And everyone is always talking about air fryer, air fryer, air fryer. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll get an air fryer. And Prime Day came about, and it was a huge discount. I was like, I'll get it. It's easy. And maybe if I have it, I'll use it. How long have you had it? I've had it for a couple weeks. And how much have you cooked with it? Twice. And what have you made? I only used it once. Well, it's, they're big. Where is it in your kitchen? It's on my counter. It's a New York City kitchen. So you my have a small kitchen. It's not that small. It's, it's bigger like, than yours. It's And it's not that big. No, it's I don't like think it's bigger pot. than mine. Yes, it is. It's about the same. I have more counter space than you. Anyways, I cooked Brussels sprouts the first time and I... Did you Burnt season them? them to a crisp. Did you put any seasoning I on them? I put garlic on them and oil. Garlic what? What? You chopped up garlic or you put garlic powder on it? No, I bought a jar of pre-chopped up diced garlic already. And I scooped it out, threw it in. It's garlic. What, I mean... Did you mix them with it so like it was equally well, of course I mixed it with oh, oil, salt, and pepper. Okay. Well, you know you like pepper. So I thought the whole thing about air fryers is that they're quick and easy. They're not much quicker than a regular oven. So I'm like... So you also didn't... Who re- scammed me on this? You also didn't research an air fryer. Well, of course not. <laughs> you didn't do any research on how much space they take, what you're going to make with it. Can you bake with it? Allegedly. And I do like to but bake. But how much space is actually inside? At that point, just use your fucking oven. Well, so that's what I'm saying is there's not that much space inside it. And you can really only do one thing at a time. And it's still like the Brussels sprouts you have to cook for like 18 minutes. I was like, that's the same as an oven. So what are we doing here? And then I was told what I probably want is what's called an instant pot. Like a crock pot? No, it's called an instant pot. And that cooks something very quickly. However, I do hear that they explode a lot. And I would, of course. Explode from what? I don't, because they're pressure cookers. I don't like pot cooking well, like, i thought i was gonna ruin my apartment from the air fryers i probably shouldn't get an instant pot I, but i think that's what i have but in i mind. think you have no goal in mind of like what you want to make well, of course or, i don't or, have a goal or, in mind because <laughs> i don't <laughs> like food you don't like any food you do S- shock me that because some you'll people, eat like seafood some people live to eat and i eat to live i only eat because i have to No, that's not true. You love cookies. You love sweets. You love baking. Yeah, but I'm not like, like some people are like planning trips and like, oh, we need to go to this restaurant. We need to do this. That's never been me. I'm like, I could do Chipotle every day. Dunkin' every morning. I love that you say you think you could do Chipotle every day, even though you do do Chipotle every single day. Right. That's what you eat. The the staff knows you, Nick. They do. Do you think you could work at Chipotle? Like, do you think you're there so much like you like... Oh, I could absolutely, I know what they do. Could I work there? Probably not. When I worked I at mean, McDonald's, I was an absolute disaster. What was your job? I never worked food. All my retail jobs were like, or all my jobs were retail. It was like the Container Store, Blick, Michael's Arts and Crafts, and then I was doing caricatures like as a side hustle. I worked at Exxon Gas Station, McDonald's, Pizza Hut. What did you do with the gas station? Behind the register. They actually, everywhere always put me behind the register. 
partially because I'm very frail and weak and I can't stock anything. And McDonald's didn't want me to cook because usually they always put the men back on the, the grill and the women at the register. But every time I got there, they were like, you can just go to the what register. Do they, do they actually cook? At McDonald's? I mean, everything's frozen, but they like, they put it on a grill and everything. Really? Or like, yeah. I mean, it's like already, they're not like making the meat. What, the what, what are those like trays I see? It looks it's like. It's where they put the heated food so that when they get the orders, they can just make it fast. Yeah, because I, I every it's time I. to keep it warm, but. Every time I, I order a double cheeseburger with just cheese, I see them pulling it out of like a alpha shelving tray. I never like Burger King because Burger King cooks their food and then they microwave it. So everything is hot and that I loses like the flavor. I don't like Burger King at all. I mean, there are very few fast food restaurants that I don't Can like. Can I just say something controversial? I'm not a Wendy's person. Okay. I'm I not know. A, I don't like Frosties. I like their Frosties. No, strawberry Frosties no, lately. Strawberry anything is disgusting. Well, you're I, disgusting. I, I like strawberries, but they should mind their own business. They have no business being in anything but like a preservative, like... A jam, a marmalade, or just strawberries as a, maybe in cake. I like fresh strawberries, but like strawberry shakes, like it just I even as a kid I was like, Ugh. and I love pink and I love strawberries. Apparently not. But I think that Frosties, I don't. This never did it for me. Like when I was in high school, and we would go get lunch. Like people were like, let's do Wendy's, and it did feel like elevated fast food. Remember Dave? What? Remember Dave? He was like, "We'll." Oh, I've, I've all... never thought of Wendy's as elevated fast food. Actually, I would I've never it's... eaten Arby's. Well, no, Arby's is. At you. I've never. My if mom liked like... Arby's, but I've never eaten there. Oh, well, I'm glad you said that because I was about to say something really mean about people that eat Arby's. You can full trash. <laughs> if you eat Arby's, you are full and utter trash. Mom, Mateo thinks you're trash. Well, you eat at Arby's. First, what are you getting at Arby's? You want deli meat from a from a, a roast uh, beef sandwich is all they have, right? That's disgusting. I don't know. I, it's I mean, deli meat with barbecue sauce it. and like, ah, oh, this is the indignity. Like, we got to like get back to cooking in air fryers. What? We got to get back to cooking in air fryers. I think we've moved on from air fryers. I think we're just talking in general. I think about maybe the other reason subconsciously I wanted the air fryers, maybe reliving my McDonald's and Pizza Hut days. <laughs> but you weren't even allowed to cook. But maybe this is. You weren't allowed to cook at Pizza Hut. Maybe this is why I wanted an air fryer to stick it to the man. They wouldn't but let me cook. So I'm going to show them. You wanted to stick it to the man so you did the most capitalistic thing that you could possibly do and buy an air fryer you're never going to use? Yes. So when you worked at Pizza Hut, what was your job? Well, Pizza Hut. Did you make the pizza? No. So I was the server, the host, the busser, all in one because they didn't have those as separate people. So it was a sit down restaurant. It was a sit down pizza hut. They, I don't think that they are sit downs anymore. I don't think so either. But they used to be kind of like family, like sit down. And this was towards, you could tell Pizza Hut was phasing them out because this building doesn't exist anymore. They bulldozed it and turned it into a, a car wash. But it was definitely, <laughs> when I was working there, practically condemned as well. But some of the best summers of my life. You really enjoyed it? I did. You know, the people are, were the people, but some of my favorite stories to tell, I made good money. I got a lot of free pizza, a lot of free cheese sticks, and I love Pizza Hut. Your body is probably Hates begging me. for some, yeah, Hates nutrition, me. Nick. Absolutely will have a heart attack in the next 10 years. <laughs> I just will. I know it. My body will revolt. You don't, so you don't like, you have no ambition to like eat healthy or I've been trying out. to eat healthier lately. I've been eating That's, vegetables. I've been eating Brussels sprouts with and broccoli. garlic and fried. Okay. So that's, you're, you're, you're taking out a lot of the nutrition. Okay, it's one step at a time. Do you want me to just go all the way from A to B with nothing in between? Well, okay, so what else are you eating? Well, that's about it. <laughs> but again, I'm working on it. I'm trying. I like celery and lettuce. Well, celery had, and lettuce are, are... I had cooked carrots last night. I do not like them. You don't like carrots? I don't like cooked I carrots. like cooked carrots. I like carrot soup, too. The vegetables, I don't like. I don't like kale. I like peppers, and I like onions, but I like them in specific places. Like I like I, onions. I like onions, but I don't like grilled mushy onions. I don't like grilled mushy onions. I think if it's an onion uh, that's like that's, on a hot grill true. that comes still crispy... Like, I like that kind of an onion, but I just don't, I don't know. Something about, like, 
I like it in certain things and I don't like it in other things. Like I'm very particular about That's how I feel about you. <laughs> well, I like you in certain things. I like and asparagus. I don't like you in other things. I like broccoli. I like um carrots. I like peas, green beans. I like you know, I like a lot of vegetables. Well, you can I make guess. all of those in the air fryer. And they come out crispy, which is nice. One time this girl who told me, she was like, I just bought an air fryer. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And I go, how big are they? She goes, it's pretty big. And I said, um, it probably wouldn't fit on my counter. She goes, no, I have a bigger apartment than you. And I was like. Are you just talking about the conversation that we just had 10 minutes ago? No. Because that is, is the exact conversation that we just had. Um, different. Wasn't it? <laughs> I mean. Different. We're arguing over the size of our apartment kitchens. I think our kitchens are the same size. They're not. Yeah, they are. I think, not. They, I think they are. I know they're not. I, I literally work in real estate. Yeah. Well. Wow. Where are we right now? Four no, uh, I said if we work in real estate, like. Um. <laughs> Anything else you want to add about air fryers? We got four minutes left. I also was thinking about getting a crock pot. You got to stop. Why? Because you don't but eat I think anything. A crock pot, a crock you set it like a, and forget it. No, you need to remember. And you also, <laughs> you you you're not a, a mother of six children. Well, I like you're soup. one person. Then get a can of soup and heat it up in the microwave. I think that you like the gadgets. I think you like the gadgets. Mm -hmm. I think you like the idea of just magic coming out of a pot, like streganona and the, and the well, pasta. I just want cooking in, to be made in, easier. Cooking is easy. You just no. don't like it. Well, yes. So I want it to be made easier. So well, that I promise I like you, adding more. more gadgets into your kitchen doesn't make but it easier. Crockpots are easy. Well, there's like so many limited things that you would eat in a crock pot. Like what? Soup. Okay. Meatballs. And are you making the soup or are you getting a can and dumping it in? Dumping it in? What do then you think I am? It's for people who are making soup. Well, so that just is get making soup. soup. No, that's not. That's purchasing already made soup and putting it in one place instead of another. So instead of just buy, like, first of all, how much soup are you buying to fill up a crock <laughs> pot? Then turn it on to set it and forget it. And then come back and ladle it like you're fucking, please, sir, can I have some more? Like, meatballs? you barely eat. You eat like a bird. What so, about meatballs? Meatballs? Are you going to make meatballs? No, you buy frozen, throw them in, set it and forget it. Then put them in the oven. It I'm takes put you less. In the oven. <laughs> I'm literally going to put you in the oven. I hate you so much. What else can you make in a crock pot? There has to be things. It's like soups and, and like a roast. And I don't think you can make a roast. I think you roast. can make a roast. In I a don't think crock so. Pot. Pulled pork, maybe. I like pulled pork. Well, <laughs> but you're I also think we not, know I like pulled pork. How much pork? time, Chris? Yeah, but you're also not buying like an already made pulled pork. You have to. That's the thing, is Nick. It's it's just enough. It's all the pro, like the the steps of the thing that you don't want to do. You have to do still if you get a crock pot. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like it either goes in the oven, microwave, or a crock pot. But you still have to do the same amount of work to get it there. You're like the magic bullet commercial, where the magic bullet commercial Maybe just I'll has get one like of those. a. a, a you have one of those? I said, maybe I'll get one of those. But they, in the commercial, they have all the fruit and everything laid out, and they're just throwing stuff in and blending it up, and it looks so fun. Then you're like, wait a minute. Who chopped that tomato? Who chopped that celery? Who chopped those you onions? You can buy them pre-chopped. But it's just so much, like, wasted food. Ask Queer Feminist. <sighs> well, I don't know what to do then to make cooking more enjoyable for me. I think that you should plan out like certain meals that you want to learn how to make or things that you would like and just slowly add them into your schedule. So you don't have to cook every meal, but maybe like you like egg and cheese on a sandwich, then maybe I do like egg salad. I can make that. Okay, that's a that's a and you, that lasts long. You can make an egg salad and you can have that for like 3 days. 3 days. Yeah, an egg How much egg salad are you making? Well, how much soup are you making in your <laughs> crock pot that you have enough to feed an entire family? I think you can make soup in an air fryer. That is the stupidest thing <laughs> I've ever heard in my entire life. You are, you're just, it does. Like, Allegedly, you can make brownies, so why couldn't you make soup? I'm going to buy you a My Little Pony 
and some Tinker Toys and well, just guess let you what? play with that. I used to play with My Little Pony as a kid. What are those like? The, I'm going to get you an easy bake oven. I think Do that's it. what you want. I think you want like. I would. And I'd put it right on my counter that's bigger than yours because <laughs> I have the room for it. Thank okay. you so much for listening and watching to another episode of I've Never Liked You with Nick Smith and Matteo Lane. Feel free to listen on any website you get your podcasts or app, and feel free to watch on YouTube. Until next time.